their new striker. The Spaniard signed from Barcelona replaces Radamel Falcao, who has left for French side Monaco. Excited fans invaded the pitch to get closer to Villa, who had to be escorted off. The 31-year-old striker is a bargain buy, costing Atletico only 2.8 million US dollars for his first year of service, compared to the 52 million US dollars Barcelona paid for his signature three years ago. Also in the Spanish capital, Real Madrid began training for the next season and the new coach Carlo Ancelotti. The return of former Real legend Zinedine Zidane as assistant coach has boosted hopes that the team will pose a stronger challenge to arch-rivals Barcelona. But Ancelotti will have big boots to fill, as he takes over the hot seat from Jose Mourinho, who departed for Chelsea earlier this summer. Manchester United players have continued their Asian tour by meeting fans in Sydney. After an embarrassing loss to Thailand's All-Stars in Bangkok last week, United are determined to beat an Australian league side on Saturday. We have a good game to play and uh, make sure we win because we have to, to win every game when you play for Man United. From Australia, the Red Devils head to Japan before concluding their regional tour in Hong Kong with a game against Kichi at the end of this month. A look at the weather before we go. There were scattered showers and thunderstorms across the city today. Temperatures varied between 25.3 and 27.4 degrees, while the relative humidity was between 87 and 97 percent. Winds were moderate coming in from the southeast. Let's check on the ultraviolet reading. The maximum recorded for the day was 3. Tomorrow's UV index will be around 4. Let's take a look at the weather in the region. A short while ago, a tropical depression to the east of the, of the Philippines was centered about 360 kilometers east, northeast of Manila and is forecast to move northwest or north-northwest towards Luzon. Meanwhile, locally, an active maritime airstream is bringing showers to the coastal areas of Guangdong and the northern part of the South China Sea. Here's what we can expect over the next few days. Cloudy with showers and more thunderstorms tomorrow. Temperatures will range between 26 and 29 degrees. Similar conditions on Thursday, before brightening up by Friday and into the weekend. Now for tomorrow's air pollution levels. General stations will be low to medium at 15 to 40, and roadside pollution levels will be medium to high at 45 to 75. And finally, here's the weather around the world. That's our main news for Tuesday night. We'll have an update in one hour. I'm Edna Zhe. I'm Raymond Yang. And I'm Belinda Lloyd. We leave you now with the rescue of a woman who became stuck between two walls while taking a shortcut in Hanhui province. Thanks for watching ATV. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Chin